Hey y'all, welcome back to Hey Mom, What's For Dinner? So today we went to the Stranger Things pop-up shop at the Grapevine Mills Mall here in Texas and we're huge fans of the show. And so we went and got a couple of things. Let me show you what we got, check it out. This cool hat, it says Hellfire Club. Nice, and then my son likes to collect these pop figures. And I think he's got everybody except for Eddie. So if you have Eddie, let me know. We got a shirt, and what was cool about the store is that it has different scenes from the show, like different setups. And I'll have to show you the pictures. So we got this shirt. It only gets stranger. And this ice cream scoop says, Scoops Ahoy. Pretty cool, right? I wanted to get this apron. It had the Surf Boys pizza apron, but they were sold out. Here, check out some of my pictures. You had to make a reservation just to walk in the store. And as soon as you walk in, there's merch everywhere. And it was still crowded, but we still had to wait in line and take our picture, but it was totally worth it. experience so it got me thinking let's do like a stranger things themed dinner tonight so here's what I'm making we're making the pineapple jalapeno pizza Argyle's pizza and of course we've got to make the USS butterscotch this is my take of the scoops ahoy banana split let's get cooking okay you're gonna start off with a pizza crust this is a thin pizza crust it's more like a flatbread and then you're gonna have your pizza sauce you've got some cheese pineapple jalapeno and what i love about this crust is that it's super thin and if your kids don't really care for crust this is perfect make sure you preheat your oven to 400 degrees i love taking shortcuts and so I have three shortcuts here, a packaged pizza crust, jarred pizza sauce, and pre-shredded cheese. It saves a lot of time. One of our favorite characters from the show is Argyle. He's the surfer boy delivery pizza guy. Um, and there's a scene where Elle is trying his pizza for the first time and Mike and Elle have a disagreement with what type of topping should be on a pizza. So this is definitely a Stranger Things pizza that we had to try. Now Argyle says that they use canned pineapple, but this is actually fresh pineapple that I diced up pretty small and you want to just sprinkle it around evenly so that every slice has a good amount of pineapple. Now time for the jalapeno. This is pickled jalapenos that are sliced. You can use fresh jalapeno if you've got it. Just use whatever you have on hand. But I had pickled jalapenos. So I'm pretty excited about trying this pizza for the first time. So it looks like it's ready for the oven. 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So my youngest is nine years old and she doesn't really care for pineapple or jalapeno. So she's gonna go ahead and make her own pizza. Cheese pizza.
one thing I like about making pizza at home is that it's super simple and it's also budget friendly, but the kids can help you make it too. And so it gets the whole family in the kitchen together. Well, it looks like Mia's pizza's done. Let's get it in the oven. All right, nice and hot. It smells delicious. I'm excited about cutting into this. So here we go. All right, here comes the expert, my 14 year old son, Cole. He's ready to dig in and I'm sure he'll eat this entire pizza pie. Oh, fruit on your pizza is gnarly, you say? I say try before you deny, my dudes. The spiciness of the jalapeno, the sweetness of the fresh pineapple, it actually is a good combination. Now it's time for the dessert. We're gonna recreate the USS Butterscotch. We've got butter, pecan ice cream, bananas, caramel sauce, whipped cream, cherries, and these waffle cone bowls. And of course, we can't forget the Scoops Ahoy ice cream scoop, the merch I got at the store. Okay, let's start assembling. We're gonna get our banana, and if you really like bananas, you can use this whole banana. So in the show, it's actually a full-on banana split using three different flavors of ice cream. But we're just going to recreate it using that as an inspiration. So I really like bananas. So I'm gonna slice a few up and put them at the bottom of this waffle cone bowl. I'm also going to slice half of this banana lengthwise and put them along the edge of the bowl so it kind of looks like a boat. Now I'm going to top it with whipped cream and then a nice heavy drizzle of caramel sauce. And we can't forget the cherry on top. And also in the show they use red, white, and blue sprinkles. So I have a little bit here that I'm gonna sprinkle on top for color. All right, I'm going in for a bite. Just a little taste and then I'll share some with my husband. Mm, it's actually quite perfect. I love the crunch of the pecan and then the combination of the caramel sauce and the bananas. It's so good. And he's back. Cole is going to recreate his version of the USS Butterscotch. Aha, he's letting me know that I forgot the sails on the sailboat. So he broke off a few pieces of the waffle cone bowl and put them right there on top to make it look like a boat. Perfect, great job, Cole. Looks good to me. 
Well, this has been fun cooking with my kids. I hope you enjoyed these recipes and I'll see you next time on Hey Mom, What's for Dinner?